now you can hear me over FTL. So I had originally had an idea that I was going to do a day in my life recording. I was going to record what I do just on a random day, nothing super special or anything like that. It didn't work out. I had to stop recording part of the way through the day because, well, it was really freaking boring. It was boring for me to even record, never mind anything else. So you're going to watch me play FTL. Um, yeah. Hope you don't mind me playing FTL. I'll talk randomly. I'll probably end up editing this so it's not a full 45 minutes long for me to do an FTL run. Uh, do I even want to play as... Uh, let me go back to the hangar. So, I've actually unlocked quite a bit in FTL, and I'm going to play in easy mode because I'm talking at the same time. I'm going to be horribly distracted. But some of the advanced content I still haven't unlocked, like for instance the C-Class on all of the ships. And, well, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. I wouldn't mind trying a Basilisk on advanced mode. Yeah, this is the one that I've done most on normal. I just haven't done Battle Royale. Uh, Stormwalker is not a bad one either. Do, 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 do. Although I'm not in a f mood to do heal bombs right now. Rock ships are kinda dumb. Stealth ship, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Totally. See, this one doesn't have a C-Class, probably for the best, and Crystal doesn't have a C-Class. Yeah, we'll go Basilisk. So, if you're not familiar with FTL, the idea is that you are the last remaining member of the Federation fleet that has vital information, as it kind of says on the screen right now. The idea is that you want to be able to get to the last sector, to the rest of your fleet, give them the information, then go defeat the mothership. The problem is that the game is incredibly random and there is no save scumming. When you save, you save and quit. And then you resume where you're at. That's it. There's nothing else to it. I actually played this game at a decently fast clip, so I'm trying to, probably not going to explain a whole bunch as to what's going on. All right, well, let's go ahead and unpause and jump. So, the idea that I normally play as is that I want to try to hit as many spots as possible in earlier sectors, because earlier sectors are easier, and while they don't give you as much of a benefit, they at least give you something that's useful. I mean, minus two fuel this early on is easy, five missiles are great if I'm actually going to use missiles, which, sure, why not? So, normally what I do is that I jump through Nebula first. The Rebel Fleet doesn't catch up with you as fast. Hooray! I now have Jax! Jax sounds like a good guy. Let's put Jax somewhere useful. I don't have any weapons, so weapons aren't very useful. Jax, you should go to shields. That sounds like a great idea. Where do I want to bounce? The next priority that I usually do are places that connect to a lot of other places. That way I can see if there's a shop nearby, distress signals, stuff like that. Haha, <laughs> slaver ship. Awesome. This is perfect for this crew. So. All I need to do in this case is to kill all of the enemies. I have easily have enough shields to be able to handle everything that's being thrown at me. And there's probably only two or three crew anyway. Oh, there's only two crew, so I get Narth. Narth, that's an awesome name. Let's throw him in the sick bay. Jax, you still don't have any experience anywhere, so I'm gonna throw you back at the shields. So one of the things that FTL Advanced added is the ability to actually have crew positions saved. It's awesome, trust me. 
Uh, there's a store, but I want to bounce to a few more places first. Uh, yeah, we can go there. Dun dun dun. Naman's lugs. So, my ship has no weapons, so it's not especially useful for me to fire or, or really do anything but teleport over there. Which is fine. For now. Eventually this will become a problem. There we go. Killed everybody on the ship. And received a decent reward. It's not a very large one, but it's a decent one. Bring him back home. There. Heal him up. Beginning sectors of FTL are typically not that hard, especially since I'm playing on easy right now. I have played a little bit on hard already. It did not go well, but I'm out of practice as it is, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. No. Let's head to the store. 125 is a decent amount of money. I can always sell a boarding drone if I see anything useful. Shield charger. That's not that bad. Uh, I can also use another crew member. Especially since I have a 4 bay teleporter. Hmm. I can afford both of these now that I think about it. And really, I already have a teleporter, so sure. Oh, it's 3 power. Oh, I can do a 3 power. That's not a problem. Well, let's go ahead and sell the boarding drone. I don't like boarding drones. Uh, yeah, I don't like boarding drones. I've got 45 more. Could afford another guy. I'll pick up more guys later as it is, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Welcome to the crew, Asted. Asted. Looks like I am having internet access issues still. It's At the moment, I can only access about three quarters of the internet. The remaining one quarter is all weird and not fully functional. Maybe all of it's gone at this point. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about it. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah, I can do that. The fleet's pretty far away at this point. Again, I want to try to maximize the number of places that I go to on this side. This is going to be a problem. Because I actually don't have a way of fighting these guys since I don't have a weapon. So. I will go ahead and throw out a defense one. That way I have something to counteract the missiles with. And teleport my rock over. It's the only thing that I have that I can fight with, basically. The reason being is that auto scouts have no air on their ship, so I am going to slowly suffocate, and really about the only thing that will survive this at a first stage teleporter is a rock, and it's not by much. This is going to be very slow going. Cat. <sighs> Isun's walking around. See, now I have a kitty in the vlog. Hooray. Very slow going. I mean, this is all I can actually do to fight. It's annoying. I could probably run away. I'm going to. It's just that... Well, you can see how slow my FTL drive is charging. I guess I could speed that up a little bit. But it's not like this is hurting me, either. Yeah, this is going nowhere. 
I'll heal up and then leave. I should probably... In well, even increasing my teleporter is not going to help that much because I have to finish off that ship. And the only way I'd be able to finish it off is if I left somebody there. I need some form of offensive attack. And... Even just having, like, a, uh, Whatchamacallit, um... That boarding drone that I sold wouldn't have helped, because I would only destroy three sectors that way. I would have to wait until they activate it, or wait until they healed and send another one over, and I guess it would have worked, but kind of dumb. So I'm not going to do it. Neener, neener, neener. Beam them aboard! Hooray, I have yet another crew member. Lombard, you get to go there, because I want you to go there. These are your new station. Oh, Astad needs to go back. These are your new stations. So, with a Mantis crew, what I typically want to do is um, aim toward a teleportation base group. I mean, I have a four bay teleporter. Those are very rare in FTL and extremely powerful in some cases. Also, extremely weak when you're trying to do something stupid like, oh, I don't know deal with an auto drone. Oh, that's sad. Hmm. Okay. They have a tell uh, they have a drone chamber or not drone cloning chamber. This is going to be a problem. So, we'll teleport directly into there. So basically what I need to do is that. What I need to do is make sure that I destroyed the cloning chamber before anything bad happened. Because, well, otherwise they would just constantly respawn and that would suck. That wasn't too bad. Let's go over and heal. I'm sure, I've got a guy stunned, but who cares. Stad needs to go heal up some more. So I normally don't spend any scrap outside of stores until I'm through the first sector, which is the reason why I haven't actually leveled up my ship yet, for those of you that have played FTL before. Always explore! Oh. And, like I said before, I'm trying to maximize the number of jumps that I have, and... It's an auto-surveyor, I can't do anything against that. That's sad. I need a weapon. Badly. Very badly. So, now I'm going to the next sector. I can either go to a rebel-controlled sector or a pirate-controlled sector. Honestly, there's not really that big of a difference between the two. Um, rebel-controlled sectors are more human. Pirate-controlled sectors are frequently more mantis. Yeah, six of one, half dozen the other. The nebula sector coming up on that side, though, might not be terrible, but... Honestly, steal some pirates. Pirates can still sell stuff. Alright, so I have a nebula here. I'm going to aim for the nebula, because you might as well. Uh, no, you get to die in a fire. That could have actually hurt. Oh, no extra reward. <sighs> so, let's see. What do I want to talk about while I do this? So, I actually moved. I bought a whole bunch of bedroom furniture today um, from somebody who was moving. They wanted to. Uh, offload their guest set of furniture. I bought it. It's solid wood. Unfortunately, that meant that I had to go lift it, and it's solid wood. It's really heavy, and I think I've mentioned this in a vlog before. I have really low upper body strength. I mean, droop. 
Unfortunately, that means that I'm hurt right now. I'm actually in quite a bit of pain, which is one of the reasons why I'm playing video games instead of anything productive like cleaning. Ooh, Ion Storm. Although, I only need Teleporter. It's not that bad for me. Lombard! No! Okay, that's not really that big of a loss, but it's annoying. I don't like losing people. Mm, starting to get a little low on fuel, too. Uh, distress beacon. Definitely gonna want to hit that. I might as well hit it now. I'm fully stocked up. Uh, two missiles for three drone parts. Yeah, actually, that's a good deal for me. Store, sweet. Let's hit as many beacons as possible before going there. Asteroid belt. Auto scout. Uh, obnoxious. Let's go there and throw out a defense droid. Oh crap, that's right. That was the reason why I didn't want to do that. I'm going to lose my rock, aren't I? Get back here! Whew. I forgot, there's no shield, so the rocks will just pummel it to death, no matter what. So I didn't need to do anything. No up! Still got a reward. That's the important part. And nobody died. Asted! Asted lived! Hooray for Asted! Just need to heal him up. And still waiting for the drive charge anyway. Back to battle stations, and... Uh, how many more jumps do I want to go until I hit the store? I'll just go here and then hit the store. I see. Well, let's see. Standard blaster and or heavy blaster, heavy laser actually, and a laser. They can't hurt me. So I will hurt them. everybody as usual that's kind of my mo is kill them all <laughs> don't look at me it works i'm very good when it comes to teleportation based strategies in this game um yeah the expansions allowed me to play around a little bit more with different types of strategies i've actually done a lot of hacking strategies for previous runs for ftl advanced it's quite fun but teleportation's best strategy in my mind so I go with it. Uh, do you have weapons? You have weapons! Awesome. Ooh, swarm missiles. That's not actually useful for me. Let's see. Drone recovery arm. Uh, I don't particularly need a life form scanner. Emergency respirators. Not a bad idea, so I can actually fight the stupid things, but the moment I have a weapon, I can do that too. Oh, so many good options. Hmm. Kind of want a cloak. And they have a defense two. Oh, I like defense two so much more than defense one. Ugh, so many options. Well, that takes four power, and I don't think that's going to be worth four power. Let's let's be honest here. I'm not going to do that. I will go ahead and take up a flat cannon, I think. I mean, swarm missiles are pretty fast, but they use up missiles. Heavy ions, nice, except that I don't want to disable systems, I want to actually do damage is the thing. And flat cannons are really good against shields also. So, flat cannon, drone recovery arm, and I have 126 left over. I could sell my 
shield, I guess. I haven't actually used it yet and pick up cloaking. I can sell the defense one, but I don't want to do that. This is probably going to be my only chance of getting cloaking, though, and cloaking is really, really nice. Uh... Yeah, now, I always go with cloaking. Actually, my last run I didn't. Never mind. Sorry, shield. I never actually ended up using you. It is sad. Although, shield with cloaking is freaking awesome. Eh, well, let's take a risk. No guts, no glory, right? Oh, right. I can't actually use the flak one because I needed more. Oh, well. Too late. Uh, yeah, okay. I see my future path. Hail. Well, if you say so, I'm just going to kill you. See, normally with a teleporter, you want to teleport into size of rooms that you have enough people for, which is usually a two square room. In this case, I actually have a four spotter teleporter, so I'd rather teleport into four square rooms, even if I'm only teleporting three people. It tends to be useful. Yay, now I can actually afford to upgrade my weaponry. There. Now I can actually power the flak one, which I'm going to right now. Whee! Asteroid belt. Mmm, that one might be a bit difficult to deal with. Well, luckily I can always teleport. Or, cloak. Eh, it's a small ship, too. Oh well. That was cloaking. Cloaking is awesome. I basically used it as shield recovery. Which is fine. I said recall. Why can't... Oh. I got ioned. Oh, right. I'm actually in danger, so... I have to wait for the cooldown period. That's not that big of a deal. Mara, I'm not leaving you there. See? Told you I wasn't leaving you there. And everybody's healed, so let's get the heck out. Uh, I'm still not using any missiles, and I am using drones, so okay. I could pop into the store. Might as well. I mean, I don't have much money, but... 49's enough to buy, like, a human or something. Or Clone Bay, if I had one more. That would have been awesome. But alas, and a lack. Buy a small bomb. Eh. Let me use my missiles, at least, but that's about it. Nope, not worth it. And it didn't particularly matter because I had enough jumps and did it anyway. Always explore. Oh. Exit! Let's GTFO. Always a. Oh! Well, that's awfully nice of you to have a ship like that. Everybody into the drone room! Yeah, it looks like three people, yeah. That's not a big deal. So, this is generally how FTL plays. I'm reasonably good at the game at this point, especially since I'm playing on easy. But occasionally they throw you curveballs and everything dies in a horrible burst of flames. It is been called a roguelike after all. It's not entirely, but close enough for my purposes. 
the music is really nice too. Oh, uh, I kind of like going through Mantis Homeworlds, but I want this option here. So I kind of want to go up rather than down. <sighs> Mail client, you should be shrunk. There we go. Yeah, I'm paying attention to my email and my laptop to my right. Well, I think I know where I'm going. Itchy nose. Hmm. Pirate's bribing me with a lot of scrap. Uh, I can take you. Hmm. Maybe I can't. Well, I obviously can, but might not have been the greatest of ideas. I'll just cloak to hide from the missile. Like that. Whoosh. See, cloaking increases my evasion. Whew. I was down really low on health. Awesome! Totally worth it. I would have probably even been worth losing a character on. Yeah, I'm totally gonna have to edit this when I'm through. Okay, I think it's time to do some upgrade. No, not time for doing upgrades. I've got a store to visit. I'll do some upgrades after the store. Backup DNA bank, except that I don't have clone storage. Zoltan Shield Bypass sounds freaking awesome. I've never actually had one of those. I could actually pick up a clone bay. No, I kind of like being able to heal on the way back. Although, if I can get... There's an augment in the expansion that allows you to fully heal after teleportation. For my strategy, that's freaking awesome. I mean, there's absolutely no reason for me not to do something like that. Uh, I can buy some crew. Second rock might not be a bad idea. Or a third mantis. Yes, dual flak cannon! I'd rather get a Flak 2. Flak 2s are awesome. Uh, the problem with a clone bay is that I'm paying 50 for a replacement building. And, well, it's a replacement. I mean... Yeah. And the 8 HP per giant. Really, clone bays are very nice if you have it maxed out, otherwise it's not so great. Backup batteries are really nice because you can get bonus power for your clone bay, but... Eh. So, I've never actually had a Zoltan Shield Bypass, and let's be honest, this group is going to do terrible on a Zoltan Shield, so... Uh, or I can get backup DNA and Clone Bay. So many choices! I have five crew right now, I really do need more crew. So I will pick up a human and a... Uh, the backup bank and the clone bay. Or I can get the Zoltan Shield Bypass and do some upgrades. Actually, I can afford the Zoltan Shield Bypass and the backup battery. Hmm. That's a tough decision. I'll go with Medbay. So, not doing that. Is the bypass worth it? Yeah, it is. 
I'll hold off on the backup battery for the time being. Or should I? Nah. So I guess I'm not doing any upgrades whatsoever. To the distress beacon! It's the longest I've held out on upgrades. Oh, well, no, that's right, I had to upgrade that. Two damage to hull. It's not too bad given that I don't actually have any damage to my hull prior to now. So, meh. Now I actually have... Oh, I'm still in an asteroid belt. Fuck. So I'm going to cloak when that thing fires. <laughs> I'm not going to bother cloaking. It's going to die. I will cloak just because. Ha! I killed you. And now I just sit here until my FTL drive finishes charging. And make this go slightly faster. Does that even change anything? No, it doesn't. Oh well, doesn't matter. More asteroid belt. Okay. First off, those are my new stations. I've got four. Now let's jump into their weapons. That group's more injured. The thing about it, I would have teleported Al Astad and what's his face? Yes, this in Kinney. These headphones are actually really good at noise cancelling, so I can't hear a whole bunch, but I can still hear as soon as me out over everything. You two can go up there. Oh, that's right. There. And you can teleport some more, or cloak some more, because I feel like it. Back to stations, and let's jump. Mm, the stress beacon. Always to the stress beacons. I should actually. Hmm. I went down cloak. Uh, I should have gotten with the Yankee repair. Oh well. Mark 1's probably not going to be all that useful for me. I already have two drones that I'm going to use. I don't need any more drone parts. Drone system upgrade's not a bad idea, though. And that was a cheap upgrade. I mean, that would have cost me 30. So yeah, totally worth doing. Speaking of up some upgrades, uh, weapons doesn't need any upgrades because I only have that one weapon. That's going to cost me 100. Yes, Skinny? Thought I heard a meow. Could have been anything. Uh, what do I need? I need faster teleports, actually. 
bothered throwing more into that, but oh well. Another distress beacon! Distress away! I mean, um, beacon away? Uh, search for the ship. Uh, oh well. I still get scrap. Mm, yeah, I think I can bounce back fast enough. If not, I can fight a nasty ship at this point. Sweet! And he specializes in shield. All jacks, congratulations, you're on engines now. And I have a full crew. That's fine with me. I actually have a pretty good crew. The only thing that would be better is having Zoltan. Because Zoltan crew, best crew. I'm not going to be able to make it back. Oh well. Got a crew member for it. Totally worth it. Yeah. Let's go ahead and upgrade this now. Yeah, this is gonna suck. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. Teleporter and cloning bay. That's how bad those hurt. Go ahead and repair that. possible. Like now. So I might as well go to one of these see if it, instead of going directly to the exit because, well, I have the ability to. Uh, I look about the same, so we'll go to the closer one. Bot, go! I need my flag cannon up. I can probably just move him over. because then the circle is more likely to hit things. Like that. Alright. Oh yeah. I'm going to need it. So I have yet another rebel infested sector to go through. These suck, by the way. You should try to avoid them at all costs. Mm -hmm. 
Let's have him teleport here. You two are going after him this time. Heal up first. So basically what I'm going to do is flack this, hope things get damaged. Damn. That did not go according to plan. Need to speed this up a little. Again, hope this gets damaged. That's not the part I was hoping to damage. You know what? Keep firing there until they say otherwise. Seriously? <sighs> Might as well send more people out there. Screw it, not worth it. Anki home rolls. It's a lot safer than anywhere else I've been. Usually a pair shaper too. Okay, let's try this again. Hopefully with less breaking, please. I took a lot of damage from that one battle and I didn't do anything. Sure. Sure, I have an Enki crew member. Secret technology. I need to go there, 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 and there. Got it. I only have two money, so this store is not going to do me any good, which means it's going to have good stuff, isn't it? Anti bio beam is nice remembers that I don't need in this case. I can't even afford to repair anything. Can I sell any? Um, not really. This has been a waste of money so far. Oh well. Quest! Ah, you think you could teleport? 
Hunter. Shield. That just plain sucks. Oh yeah, and close all doors on the ship, just in case they can burst through somehow. You two go down there. I don't know why they're going after my doors, but whatever. Yeah, now you're doing jack and squat. Right, while I'm at it, I will go take on your shields. Because I can. Now you're stuck on my ship. Nom them. Nom them. <laughs> right, get another quest marker. You need to go heal. You can go back to your station. You need to go heal. And you need to heal. You'll need to heal, but you can wait a bit. Like, till now. You can go back to your station. Everybody can go back to their stations. Holy crap, that's a lot of markers. Um, that's the best I can do. sound too bad. Gotta worry about that bay, though. Seriously? Go nom them. Not what I was hitting, but that's okay. You can stay there for the time being. Good. That's more what I want to see. One more hit like that. There we go. In, and you can stop firing. I got him. Ah, oh, this that project, yeah. I've already done it, so eh, not that big of a deal. Woohoo! Titanium system casing is awesome though. This reduces the chance of me taking hull damage. Or no, it's... Sorry. It's that I take hull damage, but I don't take system damage. <sighs> Think about that for a bit. Who's injured? The Mantis R. Unless that is not... So, do I want titanium system casing? 
I want to keep the drone recovery arm because I'm still early on in FTL. Pheromones are honestly not that useful. This makes me feel sad, but oh well. Everybody's moving slower now, but that's okay. I think I can make it. It's gonna be really tight, I think. Ship drone. I'm okay with this. Vantis or Rebel? Hmm. I don't know if I've actually been to a Rebel stronghold before now that I think about it. So let's give it a shot. Distress signal. Uh, let's upgrade my ship a little because it's kind. Well, I kind of have a lot of points right now that's not doing anything. Sensor 2 is really helpful for my build, so I will go ahead and do that, upgrade that, upgrade that a couple of times, and keep the rest of the scrap. So distress beacons are usually good for scrap. That's fine. I actually don't want... I uh, didn't exactly need the repairs, but that's okay. Good deed! Ah, crap. Good deeds throw me into the sun, apparently. Great. 
I, I think I'd actually rather take the damage, to be honest. I don't know how they can see my stuff. Guess that was convenient timing. Oh well, I guess I didn't need the drone. It's okay, I've got crap tons of drone parts. doing too bad all right I'm back I just had a phone call from a lawn care service um, they'd actually stopped by my door and I gave them the number to call me later so not quite phone spam but pretty close hmm. <laughs> I need more power Don't need that. There we go. I think I want to go along the... Never mind, I don't want to go along the bottom. Through up there. This is going to be fun to edit later. I am not liking what I'm seeing here. One, two, three, four potential. I could even throw up a drone shield or mm, I have twenty five percent evasion. I'm probably only gonna hit three times. Uh, well, let's just call it safe. Drone shield. It's not like I'm gonna teleport anyway. You are going to aim at drone. Actually, you should probably aim at shield first. All right, I'm in. Yeah, this is a good idea to have. Damn it! That's right. This is going to take forever. I need more than one weapon. Give my shield some time to recover. And black up again. Oh, 
Okay, that one needs to go get repaired. My shield's in time to get adjusted up. Freaking hell. I hate auto ships. <laughs> Oh, I need one more hit. That's it. There we go. Much better. Jacks to the infirmary. Those two there. In fact, everybody returns to stations except for Jacks. That was obnoxious. More. Seriously, another one. The identical ship. This time. Before I continue, ah. mm. that's probably good enough on air. Yay, no more asteroid belt. So much game. So, so much right now.
Any auto assaults. So damaged. Don't care. Need more shield. Auto hacker. That's new. Oh, that was a 
stupid idea. Why the hell did I do that? not as bad, even though it's an auto-scout. Auto-everything kills me. Chancing. Oh, sad. Slug Home Nebula. Yeah, this is gonna go well. So, the thing about Slug Nebulas is that they like to break systems, which means that any system that only has a single point, a la oxygen, is pretty likely to break. So what I like to do is that... Um, doors that I actually don't particularly care about, to be honest. Cloaking... Yeah, might as well. Oh yeah, said new slug music. It's awesome. Kinda low on fuel, too. That's gonna be a problem. Yet I can't find anybody. Yes, I know there's a store there. I might as well walk around it for a bit first. I love the new slug music. Okay, you have a cloning chamber. That one's not too bad to deal with. You have no weapons I care about. Teleport!
reasons for what I'm doing. Namely, all four of them can attack in the same spot and start working on the shield itself. So I can do things like that. So is North. Mm. Secondary pilot, I guess. Um, oh, I need some in weapons. Mm. North can go to weapons. Nathan can stay in piloting. Stupid. Uh, I can sell that. Really need a weapon. I might as well get a Hermes cannon. I mean, I have plenty of missiles. There we go. That'll do. That'll do big. That'll do. Yeah, this isn't going to be hard. Yay, weapon! Actually, yes, there is a recent upgrade. Maybe I want to do precision damage, because that would have been awesome against the cloning pet. <sighs> I have a full crew. That's nice. The current range, I think I can bounce down there. That's a lot of weaponry that they're throwing at me. Oh well, their problem, not mine. Jack. 
Okay. Um, you have decent weaponry skills. That's not bad. Be not very good at repairing. And I already have a bunch of crew members at this point. Could get rid of Nathan or Narth. Let's get rid of Nathan. Jack's better with weapons, so. And Narth's been loyal. Hooray, Narth. <coughs> Bounce there, then to the exit. Ow! North, why don't you join him? Three there. Rock guy, go back to shields. You three heal up. Then return to stations. To the exit. Repairing damage. Totally worth repairing 10. I'm in sector 6. I could bounce there and back, but then I would be out of gas. I could bounce there, pick up some gas, then bounce back. No, not worth it. Uncharted or slug? I'd rather go uncharted. Totally gonna run out of gas, that was the problem. Encounter, 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 encounter. Damn it. fuel now. That's the important part. Yay, fuel. I'm going to need to stop playing soon, aren't I? Sure. What you don't understand is I can fight through your barrier. Thank you. 
Plenty of fuel now. Uh, let's go back up. Ion intruder drone! I've never figured out a good use for them, let's be honest here. Defense one uh, slug. Slugs are nice, but I don't need any more crew members. Why would I do that? Gems do I think I have left? One, two, it's like one, two, three, four. Yeah, no, I don't need that much fuel. Okay, um, should upgrade a couple of things. 105. It's not a terrible idea. I don't need it very often, but. Would be helpful if I do. What am I fighting? Chase them. Sad. Breach missiles. Okay. Wow, this is a really quiet sector. Oh well. Last sector. <coughs> oh yeah! You arrive at an outpost close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security, and an officer sets up a direct feed with the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? I'll go ahead and explain my mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Turzil of the Engi Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. That's when you explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds. It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off the warships. But first, you must make sure my cat doesn't eat things. No, um, but first... Uh, you must succeed in destroying the flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel. The other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. So, this is... Ooh, this is not a very good position. I'm thinking... Down. Definitely down. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade a couple more things. Like, for instance, battery. Battery is useful to have because that's a plus four rather than a plus two. So I effectively get two extra power, which is costs quite a bit more. What are you doing, cat? Ah, silly kitties. Uh, actually, that's not really that great until I max this out. Yeah, something like that. Down. Zone, what are you doing? Silly kitty. And absolutely nothing. Boring. So the idea is that I need to go take on the flagship. The flagship is not exactly easy. It actually gets harder in the expansion. 
Ah, oh, crap, it's an auto assault. Eight. So, a fire drone. A regular drone. I'm thinking I need to teleport over and take out shields. Or. Only two at a time. Need to get us dead out of the way because dangerous teleportation ahead. Yeah, I think this is the spot that makes the most sense. Recall. Have them go there, have them go there. Power up health. Oh yeah, and while I'm at it. Missile that sucker. Figures. Seriously? point of damage. That's it. There we go. Ah, unnecessary. A lot of scrap, though, which is nice. Let's increase that speed. That's a lot of... Yeah, let's still increase it. Base is not going to do me any good, so... Let's go there. What am I fighting this time? Yet another automated thing. Seriously, game, you're really pissing me off. And it cloaks. Of course it does. them all!
This drone recovery arm that doesn't. Er, oh, it's a drone recovery arm. Ah. Uh, thought I picked up the other one. Drat. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Which ones would be better for me? Breach missiles? Or Hermes? Breach is slower. Really slow. Oh, these weapons all suck. flagship. So this is what the flagship looks like. It is a royal pain, trust me. And that's the even bigger pain. Okay, so I'm going to want a defense to... Trust me, I'm going to want a defense to... Trust me. Because it does crap like that. It's obnoxious.
Oh, right. I screwed this up badly, didn't I? Thank you. 
The second stage of this is heavy in drones. No more hacking, at least. That's going to help quite a bit, but uh, I'm really low on everything. Everything hates me. 15 seconds of cloak might actually be useful, though. Yeah. Suck it. Teleport to there. It's the nastiest of the weapons. See, this is the problem. I already screwed that up. I meant to do that. Lots of micromanaging to do this. This is the part that's going to suck. I freaking hate their drones. This is the stage that I have the biggest problems with. Always. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
spots north and charlie you need to go heal up okay so the last stage of the boss is um teleportation and lasers galore these things i can actually handle believe it or not um the lasers galore is not that big of a deal uh, there's nobody left on the ship to teleport so that's not a problem and i've got 35 scrap to spend i believe that's enough for one power bar and nothing else is going to make a difference yeah. Done. Might as well put that in speed. Oh, yeah. Okay, everybody... Nope, the people aren't healed up. I haven't actually done any healing. That would probably help, wouldn't it? Now everybody is healed up. Let's go. Final boss. Zone Kitty.
this is going to be the real problem. It's hacking. <sighs> okay, so... Actually... because that's going to potentially suck. Thank <laughs> you. 
of cat hair, apparently. Hooray! I win. Editing is gonna be hell. I'm probably just going to sh v greatly shorten this. Good night, internet. I said good night.